Good morning children. We have learned different forms of energy. Today let us learn about light energy. Light is a form of energy which gives us the sensation of sight. So in this video we will learn some of the terms and properties related with light. You have learned that light is a form of energy. It travels in straight lines. We need light to see objects. We see an object when light falling on the object bounces off it and reaches our eyes. The light creates an image in the eyes and the brain interprets it as the object seen. When light travels through a medium say air and hits an object in its path three things can happen. The light can pass through the object or it can absorb by the object or it can return to the original medium. The phenomenon of light returning to the original medium after touching a surface is known as reflection. When light falls on a shiny surface most of it is reflected. When light falls on an object a part of light is reflected. If the object is opaque, the remaining part of light is absorbed by the object. But if the object is transparent, the remaining part of the light passes through the object. Thus all the objects reflect light. Different objects reflect light to different extents. A highly polished and smooth surface such as a plane mirror reflects maximum part of light falling on it while a transparent object reflects the least amount of light. A plane mirror is made by silvering one side of a thin plane glass plate. The surface on which silvering is done is called the silver surface. While the other surface of glass plate is called the reflecting surface from where the light is reflected. The silvered surface is coated with some opaque material so as to safeguard the silvering on it. The light incident on a plane mirror enters from the front side of the polished surface and is reflected from the silvered surface. The coating being opaque does not allow light to pass through it. Now let us learn some terms related to reflection of light. Incident ray, the ray of light that strikes the surface is called the incident ray. Reflected ray. The ray of light which is returned back into the same medium after striking the surface is called the reflected ray. Normal. The perpendicular drawn to the surface at the point of incidence is called the normal. Angle of incidence. The angle between the incident ray and the normal is called the angle of incidence. It is represented by the letter I, small letter I. The angle of reflection. The angle, of, angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called the angle of reflection. It is represented by the small letter R. In this diagram, M dash is the plane mirror. AO is the incident ray. O is the point of incidence. OB is the reflected ray. ON is the normal. Angle AON is the angle of incidence. I and angle B O N is the angle of reflection R. So these are some important terms related to reflection of light. We will continue in the next class. Thank you children.